Hey, it's J-Rod here. Today's ride is Bennington Lake. And uh, one of the things I'll tell you about Bennington Lake is I have a, a love-hate relationship with this place. And it's more of a, I love to hate it. Although, if you looked at my Strava, you'd never be able to guess that because the majority of my rides are at Bennington Lake. So, what do I hate about Bennington Lake? It's, it's busy. It's one of the busiest parks in Walla Walla. You're gonna come out here, you're gonna find lots of traffic. Lots of foot traffic, lots of large groups, lots of dogs off of leashes, lots of cyclists, and lots of horseback riders. So let me talk about horseback riders for a minute. So my dad was a national champion endurance racer. Definitely what you would call uh, a master level horseback rider. And uh, when I was younger, and when we, he was training for the national championship, he used Bennington Lake to, to train our horses. And what was nice about that back in the day was there weren't any mountain bikes out here to contend with so we could train our horses. But that kind of experience level isn't what you're gonna find at Bennington Lake today. What you're gonna find at Bennington is you're gonna find horseback riders with a lot of inexperience. And so what's important about all of this is when you're learning how to to ride trails you need to learn how to share trails you need to learn how to navigate the people who are walking navigate the other cyclists navigate the dogs off of leashes but really you need to navigate the horsebacks because you have to give the horse the, the right away all the time because horses spook easy if you spook a horse especially out here at bennington where i say you have a lot of inexperienced riders somebody's going to get hurt and it's most likely the person that's on the horse that's going to get hurt so it's important to come out to bennington to experience all this stuff so you learn how to to, to share these trails the other thing about bennington that's important is if you're a beginner and what i mean by a beginner is if you're somebody who's looking to get started in mountain bike racing or just mountain bike riding in general bennington is definitely a great place to come out and get on a mountain bike I know uh, there's plenty of people in town who ride bikes like I do, and if they do, they probably have a stack of bikes in their garage. Uh, we'd love to share a bike with you, share a bike ride with you, get you out here, let you see what this is all about. Because if you come out to Bennington and you get on a mountain bike, you're probably gonna have the, the same love-hate relationship that I find, but yours is gonna be a little different. The love-hate is gonna be, you're either gonna find that you love mountain biking or you absolutely hate it. And if you come out to Bennington and you really don't enjoy mountain bike riding, then what I can tell you is the sport of mountain biking is probably not for you because it's just gonna get more challenging with the different trails that are out there, especially around the Northwest. Bennington's about as mild of a trail as you're gonna find. Trails are super smooth. There's not a lot of hill climbs. It's relatively flat. Um, it's just a lot of fun um when it's not busy of course but like i said if you come out here and you experience all that and you say man this just isn't for me that's a great time to cut your losses maybe get yourself a road bike or maybe get yourself a canoe to enjoy this beautiful lake behind you do some fishing whatever it is but i'm going to get back on the trail today i got a couple more uh, trails i want to hit before summer closes in on us and it is closing in fast so hopefully i'll get those posted uh, let me know what you think uh, if you uh, agree or disagree, that's fine. Um, I don't mind. These are just my opinions. But uh, have a great day. Keep riding. Keep riding through the winter.